unemployment. Yes, it is really a fact that population has risen to that extent that employing yourself is a challenging task. I do agree. Despite this fact that employment is really a challenging task for people in this populated country, I would like to draw your attention towards another big fact that is lack of skillful people. There are several jobs that has, this population has created itself. But we do not accommodate. Our aspirants do not accommodate according to the necessity and the circumstances of the job. So who is responsible? As situation is changing, circumstances are changing, scenario is changing, we need to change ourselves. We need to accommodate ourselves according to the need and necessity of time. We need to be more skillful, more presentable. You need to manage yourself that how you can get a good job, a satisfactory job in this challenging populated world. I do agree population is there so jobs are less. But population itself can create jobs. I am not talking only about the jobs which are being given by the government, public organizations and also by the private organizations and MNCs. Entrepreneurship is one of the biggest option that a person can emerge to be an entrepreneur means self-business. You can start a venture and without any big investment. What I feel in India, the biggest problem is prestige. People want to be an officer. People who want to work in a government enterprise. They want to that social status. Even they would love to join as a PN or a fourth grade cadre job in railways instead of working as a tea seller or a hotel manager or running a hotel. The education in true sense is very important. We need to understand the problems. We need to resolve our issues. We need to, we cannot blame government. We cannot blame parents. We cannot blame anyone else for our situation. We need to think and introspect that why am I not compatible with the job? Why we are not getting a suitable job? Because everybody wants to work in some company or some organization. They do not think they are skill about skill. Many people, uh, I am a teacher, so many people come to me, they say that I want to be civil servant, I want to be an IAS officer. So, when we ask about geography, they don't know. When we ask about history, they have very little idea about the history, only rough idea. GS, GK, English, language, Hindi, they do not have command over their language. So, expecting and dreaming is just foolishness and you will call that vacancies are less. Suppose, imagine if vacancy will be 1 million, 10 lakh people for the UPSC post. What will be the condition of the country? The condition of the IS? They don't know language, they don't know geography, don't know history. So it is good that the seats are limited. See the condition of engineers? 1000 engineers sacked out from, uh, you know, several people are uh, sacked out from Twitter, several people are uh, sacked out from uh, different, different organizations are you are coming to know that there is a recession throughout the world and they are sacked out. Why? If you are skillful, why the company can sack you out? You can create business. If you are giving business to the organization, why business organization will sack you out? Just a simple question. Suppose you are fruitful. If you are fruitful to someone, why that person will leave you? The simple logic is that you become burden on organization. You become burden on the employing authority and you want just salary, just remunerations and package. As a result, you will be definitely sacked out. So my point of speaking is that let's refresh ourselves. Let's hone up our skills. Let's be fruitful to everyone. 
if i am not fruitful to you you will stop this video or you will stop listening to me you stop watching a video which is not fruitful and similar is the condition a teacher who cannot teach they are sacked out several people died in corona and several people died of hunger as well teachers one were among them who died of hunger because there was no job for them there was no income for them and only government teachers were enjoying salary whatever they if they get suppose imaginary 20000 they were getting 20000 for couple of years without job so government has to be in loss without job you are you are giving them 20000 for couple of years so this has to create a problem why the nation, national deficit we talk about national losses companies will be in loss similar thing is happening in all mncs private companies why people are sacking you know bulk bulk sacking out why because companies are not in profit and imagine if you are running a business and if business is not running in profit how will you manage your expense are you uh, are you here in this world on the guarantee of some company that that company will give me that remuneration then i'll live life many people do not know their profile jobs and all what they really are they 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 apply for pn jobs they want to be pn because they want they will get 30 40000 salary in government departments but they don't know exact job that what they have to do they go at 12 o'clock only for 3 4 hours they make attendance and they take for granted they go to the house of their officers serve them for couple of hours and their that their job is over actual job is not good that's why the files are pending there is no one on the table even to shift the file from this table to that table in government department the things are that from a file from one table in the same room to the other table goes in 3 days normally the official says mere paas file nahi aaya hai us table pe pada hua hai so 3 days one file takes to other from going from one table to other table and you can call it unemployment the people who have got the job are responsible for unemployment they have created such a situation that everybody will remain on unemployment they do not work the people who have got job they are not working they are sleeping and they are responsible government is not responsible let's come to the original point who is responsible for this uh, job losses people who are in job they are not working they are just enjoying their perks remuneration salary and package and they blame oh, there is no vacancy why vacancy will be there you are not fruitful people have shown they have no interest in working if you are really interested you can make your own business so if home minister says pakoda bechna hai इतना सारा जॉब है दैट्स नॉट बैड स्टार्ट सेलिंग पकोड़ास एनी वेज नॉट लेट्स मी बी वेरी नॉर्मल एंड लाइट दैट जॉब कैन बी क्रिएटेड बाय यू बाय अस इट्स नॉट ओनली दैट एवरीबडी वी बिकम अ टीचर बट यू कैन बिकम डिफरेंट काइंड यू ऑन्टरप्रेनर्स बिजनेसेस स्किल्स इफ यू नो फोटोग्राफी यू कैन स्टार्ट अ स्टूडियो if you know different kind of skills suppose if you start a, a shop of furniture if you know different kind of carpentering skills so different skills are needed to different people normally what happens uh, uh, mobiles are replaced the moment your mobile fall down you have to replace your mobile so there is also dearth of good repairing centers you can start your own factory of refurbishing you can buy handsets and refurbish it and sell it but how many people are enterprising how many people are really uh, willing to be an entrepreneur they are very less they just keep blaming who didn't give you job government yes it is government's responsibility that the health of people should be good it is government's responsibility that the education and the skill of people do, and government is playing dirty politics i have complaints with the government that the politics is at the dirty level that examinations are not being conducted fairly 
the universities are not running programs in time and the examinations are not fair enough which can give you knowledge and skill and this is the problem of unemployment so i would say if unemployment exists the only root cause of unemployment is lack of skillful education maybe government is responsible to some extent and also the students who are studying they do not know practically everything that's it have a great day